Good afternoon, my friends. We are back here at Two Rivers Park. And if you remember, a couple weeks ago, I come down in here and there was trails that kind of veered off. And uh, I was curious because it's different than any other colored trail system I had ever seen before. Normally, so we're on the yellow part of the trail and I think it's supposed to turn into the red and then it's supposed to turn into either blue or green. Um, and I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, so like there's a blue there. All right, like I said, there's a blue there. There's a red over here. But to my knowledge, last time I was here, I seen a red that ventured off to the left. Yes, right there. We are here to explore it. Um, it is cold today. I'm talking like 17 degrees as a high and with the wind chill, uh, of the winds are supposed to be like 30 miles an hour up to anyway, so it's going to be negative temperature. So I'm, I'm bundled up. I'm curious to see where this trail goes. There's a lot of creaking trees around here. Um, kind of gives me the heebie jeebies and I'll explain a little bit about that, but let's get on this trail here. Looks like there's been a little bit of foot traffic this morning already. I have no GPS today. I'm just strictly going by trailblazings. And uh, Office of Parks, Recreation, and His Historic Preservation, New York State. And again, we are in New York. Um, I don't know if this is the exact township, um, but it is Waverly, New York, nonetheless. Um, somebody's out here walking their dogs. But again, there is supposed to be wind today and it is kind of blowing around the trees and uh it is kind of freaky because you hear them every so often but i wanted to come back here and see where these trails go or where it leads back around too hear them trail or those trees excuse me trees creaking <laughs> but it is cold I got my gloves on today and my fingertips are feeling it I have a feeling I'll be putting down my mittens at least yeah that's kind of freaky <laughs> I do have a good idea where this trail may lead us back down to so let's keep hiking here So besides the trees creaking back and forth and possibly a plane going overhead or whatever that noise is in the sky, it's a rather peaceful day out here. Uh, again, I'm back at the two rivers or twin rivers, twin, twin or two, I believe it's twin rivers <laughs> getting mixed up here, twin rivers park and uh, we're just exploring some trails we did not get to explore the first time we were out here and we did the loop again i have no gps on today so i'm just going where these trails take me and uh they're probably all going to lead back to the same spot i think this is probably going to loop me down around and that last bridge if you watch the last video that last bridge that i was on where i seen the tarp and stuff um, I have a feeling this is probably going to loop us right back down around into that because there was red markings that went off up over the hill um, on the other side of the bridge.
and my mustache is freezing. One thing I want to reiterate, some know, most know, some don't. If you're ever hiking in the cold and you want to stay warm, you have to layer up. Now, I get a lot of people I know, a lot of friends, a lot of family go, it's too cold for that. Oh my God, this and that. Well, we all know uh, it's sensible. I don't want to say common sense because some don't have common sense. Uh, that when we move, our body warms itself. Get that blood flowing. Also, layer, layer, layer. Um, I'm usually good with, with just a beanie on. Some people wear like a, a skull cap and then a beanie or an insulated beanie. I just have a regular beanie on. Speaking of, my Green Bay Packers are in the playoffs playing the Niners today, so go Pack go. <laughs> um, to all my Packers fans out there, hopefully we get it today. Super happy about last week's win over the friggin' Cowboys. I am not a Cowboys fan in the least. A little bit of water trickling here. I wholeheartedly do not expect to see anybody else out on trail today. Not with as cold as it is um, or the wind chill. So our trail turns right here. Looks like there's a game trail that goes out through here. Cause I don't see any trail markings out through there. Um, I don't know if that's a trail either. That might be another game trail. But oh, I just heard some noise over there. Huh. Anyway, we're gonna go this way. Ooh, almost fell. A couple things about this trail that people have warned me about that are local from the area. Um, there's also another trail around here uh, it might be, it might be in the adjacent town. There's a trail called the Forbidden Trail. Um, it's only like a mile long, but I've often had people tell me that there are, uh, a lot of needles from drug usage going on out there. I've been told that even out on these trails, um, some people come out here and they abuse drugs out here. Yeah, you can hear them trees going. If I hear one fall, we're turning back because I don't want to stand the chance of something falling down on me. Probably wasn't the great ice, greatest idea to come out here, but we're here. And I like to push myself and also to prove to people that you're fine hiking as long as you come prepared when it's in the cold and especially negative temperatures with the wind chill. Uh, today started out seven or eight degrees, but uh, yeah, we're doing, we're doing just fine. There are, you know, that one escaped. There are plenty of birdies out here today. I will say that. Whoop. Um, yeah, it's weird to see the birds out on such a cold day. Obviously, we are still on the red trail. You know what never fails? I can go to the bathroom a million times before I leave home, but as soon as I get out on trail, I have to pee like the Dickens. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna step off and find a big tree to water. Marking my territory, so to speak. <laughs> I love that crunch of the snow. <laughs> It is Saturday, January 20th, and I have no time crunch to be anywhere, my friends. Miss Mindy is at home. Uh, she kind of wimped out. She, in fact, did not want to come out in the cold weather. <laughs> so she goes, that's all you. So she's staying home, staying warm. But when I get home, She's making a really nice uh, dinner for us today. So I guess I can't complain for her reason to stay home. <laughs> like, look at the birds. So far, it's been pretty cool on this trail. I uh, should have come out here. Um... Should have come out this way last time I was out here visiting, but I didn't. <laughs> now I did drop my phone in the snow, so I'm kind of hoping that it didn't hurt it like last week when I dropped it right in six inches of water. But apparently, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I'm sure the other iPhones, new and older, um, are tested for waterproof. And this phone is actually waterproof uh, up to, I believe it said six meters deep. And I'm not sure if it said for a time length of three minutes or 30 minutes. There was a three in there someplace, pretty sure of it. But, yeah, we made it through that day, and pretty sure we're going to make it through today. There's a plane. I thought so. Except for that plane, it's been, we're crossing a little snow-covered bridge here, my dudes. See the crack in the wood right there? But, uh, yeah, besides that plane, it is, it is crazy quiet out here. So if I remember correctly, what this trail is going to do, like I said before, I might have said this before. This is gonna take us back down into where that bridge is, where I seen that black tarp in the last video. Um, if you guys have been watching. <laughs> if not, that's cool. If you're just joining, hey, what's up? Hit that like button. It definitely, ooh. Yep, some, some doggy pee. Um, hit that like button. It definitely helps my channel grow a little bit. But enough about that. <laughs> Um, when we come back down in, we should hit that bridge and, uh, that's pretty much the extent of what I wanted to explore today. Uh, I just wanted to see where this, this goes going downhill. I want to be a little careful. I don't want to fall on my butt. Yep. There's that bridge. <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad little jaunt for today. Um, again, I need to look up and find that trail that is called the Forbidden Trail. So we can go check that out before we go home. Um, mainly because today, as cold as it is, um, I don't think it's terrible right now, but I'm, I'm moving. Um, as cold as it is, if there's anybody out on the Forbidden Trail... Uh, I really don't feel anybody would be out there abusing drugs. But hey, when you need your fix, you'll you'll 
definitely go go anywhere to get your fix. Um, yeah, so still some moving water. Uh, looks like the little camp fireplace has been cleaned up a little bit. There were rocks there last time. Of course, then again, maybe they're all under the snow. I don't know. But here's our bridge. And if I remember correctly, there was a tarp that laid right over here. And I don't, I don't see that tarp anymore. I mean, granted there's snow, but here I am kicking around snow. I don't see no tarp under there. Um, was it over here though? Nope, nope, no tarp under here. It was a really, really good tarp. But anyway, it kind of looked like underneath the tarp, kind of looked like somebody laying on their side, you know? Like somebody had been probably like choked to death or drug, drug out here and, and uh, covered up with a tarp while they were laying on their side. I really doubt it was that, but when you're alone in the woods, your mind tends to wander. <laughs> oh. All right, we're gonna loop back up around this way. That's gonna take us back to the car. Uh, so, unless something happens, I'll see you guys when I get back to the car. Yeah, so, all right, let me show you. See, that's a red and a yellow marking. If you go this way, you see the yellow marking. That's where we come down through. But I don't know, I guess I just got confused. Maybe I pulled the bonehead because right there, right through there is where the blue trail goes. And I know exactly where that connects. So there's no need to go that way. Um, but yeah, maybe, maybe they call it the yellow, red, and uh, blue trail because you, you go out around the, the red, you come back down, and you start the yellow down that way, and you come back up through on the blue. But I don't remember coming up that way last time. I could be wrong, but all right. Let's get on out of here and check out the Forbidden Trail. I don't remember this little hill being here last time. <laughs> but a little bit more difficult to climb when it's snow. Oh, and I want to tell you guys a little thing I picked up from TikTok. So if you tie both shoelaces together on your shoes, Leave the knot outside of your dryer door and turn your dryer on for like 20 minutes, half an hour. They dry your shoes right up and they're toasty warm when you put them on. Uh, I'm sure most people have seen that TikTok hack, but hey, TikTok does have some good usage. <laughs> I uh, just wiped my mustache. And I had to pull off some either spit or snot sickles. <laughs> uh, it's freezing quite fast. And I will say, I'm warm. I don't know why people are afraid of being cold out hiking. You don't stay cold. When you start, you might get chilled. Uh-uh, man. I warm right up. And I dare say... I'm actually developing a sweat, so I will be shedding some clothing when I get back into the truck. Whew. All right, my dudes, we made it back to where we started. Oh. 
I'll admit, I'm a little bit more winded today. Not that the snow is deep, but you have to kind of brace yourself for the uh, ice and while well, the snow too, you don't want to fall on your face, you know? Uh, especially if you fall down into snow covered, uh, like a little wet spot when it's as cold as it is you uh get wet you could stand a chance of hypothermia i don't want to see that for anybody so we're back up at the campground or yeah the campground the uh parking lot restroom area so let's go find the forbidden path all right, so we gotta walk across the road. We gotta walk through. In order to get to the Forbidden Path, you see the sign right there. A trail leading to, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> A drinking fountain of the, I don't know how to say that word either. All right, let's go down in. Now, stories i've heard about this trail as well um and reading some reviews and comments on all trails during the summertime people have seen syringes and baggies down through here um but hopefully we don't see any of that stuff hopefully we don't happen to slip and fall and get impaled with any of that stuff so yeah here we go. We Welcome to the Forbidden Path. We hope you enjoy your visit. We ask you to kindly observe a few rules to enhance the enjoyment of all our visitors. Allowed hiking, running, birding, not allowed. Motorized vehicles, hunting, camping, and campfires. Open dusk, dawn to dusk. Cross this little bridge here. Here we go. Yeah, so there are... Waverly is known a little bit in my area for drugs sadly um a lot of people lose the battle to uh drugs and uh i believe it is a disease when the uh when the addiction fully takes effect because you need that drug like you need air um and i'm not here to fight with anybody whether it is or isn't it a disease it's a choice blah 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 um Yes, I believe it's all a choice when you first begin using drugs, but I believe after a while of using them, the disease, that's when the disease kicks in. Um, you have to be open-minded to it to understand it. But anyway, um, we're here to talk about, to do nature stuff. And uh, one more thing I wanna add to that, it's like, let's stop the bullying. I, I watched a thing on C-SPAN where Jelly Roll uh, talked about drugs and if you know jelly roll he's an ex-dealer he's an ex-drug addict um been to prison many times but i watched a very powerful c-span thing about the fentanyl crisis and uh he said something that stood out to me he goes too many people ridicule and bully drug addicts instead of trying to help them they bully it they bully them they call them junkies um these are people that just need help People that are homeless, they just need help. People that are that are just scrounging by and struggling and, and who can't afford a car, they just need a little bit of help. Um, so help somebody. It makes you feel good. It really does, my friends. Just help somebody. It's not that much and it doesn't cost usually anything to help somebody. Point them in the right direction. Somebody clearly went up that way. Maybe it's just a game trail. Probably got a lot of kitties and, and whatnot. Fox, rabbits. Yeah, this is probably not a place I would want to be in the summertime because I honestly do feel um, you could probably get in a tussle with somebody down here who is doing illegal activities. Again, because it's so cold out today, I do not expect to see 
anybody on trail. I don't know if you all can tell, can't really see any cars passing, but there is um, uh, Highway 17, Route 17 we call it, or it's uh, 81 I believe it is. 81 or 87, I think it's 81. Um, I'll correct myself <laughs> if, if need be. But yeah, that runs out there, uh, not too far out in the distance. So I left my pack back in my vehicle. I didn't feel I needed it for this one mile jaunt in and back out. So technically it's two miles, I guess you could say. But um, doing what I did back at Twin Rivers, like I'm not thirsty, I'm not hungry. I ate a healthy breakfast before I came in. Uh, ate some eggs, a bagel. Miss Mindy made some sausage links. Oh, that woman makes a killer killer breakfast I'm telling you all right same sign as we had before see this little area over in here this would be an awesome little area to have like a campfire you could use them logs as like a oh we got something over here Looks like a magazine or something. Got somebody coming down here and doing some writing. I wonder if this is something that was just found and set up here. Hopefully the pages ain't covered in fentanyl. We all know fentanyl absorbs through the skin, but, hmm. Nope, I don't want to take that either. Um, rinse my hands off here a little bit. Cover that back up. <laughs> oh, there's some bottle caps in here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. People are coming down here and doing some drinking. Oh, okay. We run right along the railroad tracks here. That's awesome. That is super, super cool. There is some... Uh, private property over here across the other side of the tracks there's actually what used to be a main road that goes down into it um, that is now basically their driveway well if you could camp out here there would literally be no shortage of firewood walking across another bridge Looks like it used to be a foundation. Cause these railroad tracks are here. I wouldn't doubt if there was like some like historic buildings around here. It's a little stream over there. I think that's really cool that it runs across or runs along the railroad tracks. That's super cool. See, I gotta recenter. So we're not too far away from the end, but oh, this is cool. Do we get to cross the tracks? Hell yeah. Just to let everybody know that my battery is dying because it is so damn cold out here. But yeah, I don't see nothing back in there. <sighs> All right, let's go up. Uh. How about it? That is so cool. And a train does come down through here every so often. 
So the GPS says the trail's like over here. Um, but I just thought it was cooler to walk on the railroad tracks. I have taken so many railroad spikes. It's not even funny. They're kind of like a keepsake, but I've collected so many that I am not going to take any more. They take up space. <laughs> See? Railroad tie. Er, spike, excuse me. The wood parts of the tie. <laughs> we are actually almost at the end of our trail. Um, and I have to say, excuse me, this whole thing in its entirety is one mile. I thought it was one mile two and one mile back. Of course, then again, I guess they would label it for two miles. So silly me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really not too labeled after you get to, uh, the railroad tracks here. So I don't know. I don't see anything up in there that even looks like a trail. 256. Huh. Well, I don't see any remnants of a trail. <laughs> um, let me check my GPS here. Yeah, we're we're uh, pretty much at the end, so I'm just gonna turn this off and. Uh, we're gonna start walking back here. I'm not even gonna give that a review on all trails. It's really nothing, nothing to review. <laughs> I guess if you're looking for a walk or something to do, this would be the trail to take. And I gotta apologize for uh, this past summer, my friends, I, I promised you guys a few new videos like mountain biking and kayaking and backpacking. Um, I have looking, been looking very heavily at mountain bikes so I can ride some bike trails. Um, I think that's going to be super fun. I've been messing around with my GoPro. Um, I need to get a uh, memory card that lasts, that's, that's more gigs. Uh, probably a one terabyte so um, I can do more than just a couple hours because my current memory card only allows me uh, two hours worth of footage and sometimes I'm out on trail for three four hours sometimes um, but yeah I've been looking real heavy at mountain bikes I really want to do that um, I've got a chest harness for my uh, my GoPro um, and I have been looking at kayaks being so it's the off season they're a little uh, less expensive so but I figured that I'd end up paying over $300 for a kayak and to be honest with you Walmart's got some nice pelican kayaks for like $335 so I don't think that's terrible so definitely this summer um, what's that Anybody know what that is? I don't know what that is. I don't have one of these. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, get some kayaking and mountain bike adventures in. Uh, I got some friends that wanna come out on trail. Also, I did not forget about um, the uh, metal detecting. I, I definitely wanna get out and do that. That's definitely a... Uh, a nicer weather type thing so yeah I will uh, definitely let you guys know when I have all the goodies 
So we're back to our trail intersection here. So without killing ourselves, let's get back down there. One last thing before we get to the end of the trail here. Now at the beginning, it said it was supposed to lead to a spring. Clearly, because I chose to walk along the, the railroad tracks, we didn't see the spring, which is fine with me. Um, I don't necessarily care to see the spring. Uh, I just wanted to basically explore this trail and see what it's about. This is definitely not a hike. Uh, this is this is a walk. It's all flat, uh, except for where you go down in and get go up on the railroad tracks. But yeah, it's been it's been a good day. It's been a good Saturday. Now I get to go back home and hopefully pay attention to the football game, and hopefully. My Packers beat the 49ers. Um, I am not a crap talker, if you will. Um, I do not like to call a game before it's played. I'm the type of guy that likes uh, the scoreboard to do the talking. So let me know down in the comments who your picks are uh, for the Super Bowl. Doesn't have to be the playoffs. Let me know who your picks are for the Super Bowl. So and having said that, I'll talk to you guys when we get back to the truck. Okay, so before we go back to the truck, I forgot about this little trail that comes off, that came off to the left when we came in. Let's just walk down that and see what we can probably see. An old broken bench. I'm just curious, obviously. This might be just a, a game trail. Who knows? We are getting significantly closer to the bridge, I can say that. Kind of wonder if this goes underneath or if it just circles back around. So we could go that way. Ah, there is a trail that goes this way. Let's check it here. This strikes me as just a game trail. Yeah. I think uh, people come here who are possibly homeless and they sleep under here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, they're pretty slick. They're pretty slick, but yeah. All right, let's get out of here. But wait, what is this? Oh, it's just the box. All right. All right, again, I feel like this trail kind of just leads right back around. So let's see if this just follows the creek. Before digging underground, there's cable. Yeah, this, this, I don't think this is the trail, but. All right, well. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a waste of time. Kind of, kind of, sort of. There she blows, Captain. <laughs> All right, you guys, I made it back to the truck. Thank you very much for hanging out with me on this very cold day. I mean, you're not cold if you're watching. You're probably at home on your couch or sitting in your computer chair. I'm the one who's out here cold. Yeah, I know, I'm leaving. Uh, <laughs> but again, thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you like this stuff, please cons consider subscribing. As always, hit that thumbs up. It definitely helps uh, populate the video. Leave me a comment, tell me what you thought, tell me what you didn't like. 
uh, tell me your favorite part. Um, yeah, so until next time, uh, I wasn't 100% sure I was going to come out here today because it was, it, it's really not bad. I don't think it's that bad. Uh, the wind didn't pick up like I thought it was going to, but then again, it's still kind of midday. Yeah, that might happen later. Speaking of, there's a breeze now. But uh, yeah, anyway, enough rambling. Please, y'all stay safe, stay healthy, and y'all be good to each other. We'll see you out on the trail next week.